This program is brought to you by Express Employment Professionals. Respecting people, impacting business. Located in Durango, serving the Four Corners area. Have you ever sat down to a formally set dinner table and didn't know which fork to use or which glass was yours? Knowing the proper dining etiquette can make or break an employment interview or business deal. That's why the Fort Lewis College School of Business Administration hosts the annual Business Etiquette Dinner for its students. We had been talking to recruiters when they came on campus and they tell us all the time that our students were absolutely wonderful, they knew their stuff, but when they got out and started interacting, they fell on their faces. They were just too casual. They were coming out of Durango and everybody in Durango prides themselves on being casual and laid back and when you get to the big city, it's not that way anymore and so we needed to give them a, a little feel of what it would be like to be in Dallas or Houston or Los Angeles or Seattle. Some of our students even go into New York and New York is a long way from Kansas, Dorothy. Cook covers a full range of do's and don'ts, like keeping your elbows off the table or chewing with your mouth closed. But did you know you should never allow your fork, knife, or spoon to touch the tablecloth after you pick it up? Place it on your plate or saucer instead. Always pass to the right and pass both the salt and pepper shakers, even when a person asks for one. Cook intersperses his etiquette tips with tidbits of history and how the rules of etiquette evolved over time. For example, table knives are rounded at the end because Louis XIV was worried someone might stab him with sharper utensils. And one monarch decreed that all men wear buttons on their coat sleeves to prevent them from using their cuffs as napkins. So it starts here with our networking and we have the involvement in some of the hospitality and tourism classes from Dr. Taylor's classes. And they start with the networking and the icebreakers. And then we have the past appetizers and local student and musicians from the music department come in play while they're networking so they know how to talk and how to hang on to it and how to eat it. And then we move to a toast by the president of the college, Dean Thomas, and then Dr. Cook is leading us through and guiding us through the whole thing. The table hosts are Fort Lewis College administrators, professors, and local business professionals who offer informal advice and answer questions. You don't get much feedback as a student until you actually get out there. And then, you, like he said, you fall straight on your face because you don't know what to expect. So sort of these things are just to get you in the door, figure out what you need to practice, if it's your vocal skills, if it's presentation, if it's just how you compose yourself. And about that water glass or bread plate, how can you tell which is yours? We always have the students do this when they sit down and they're going like, why am I doing that? Well, it's, that's your bread and butter plate and that's your drink because the table is just full of glassware and flatware and so it's confusing and that's just kind of, that kind of breaks the ice and makes everybody a bit comfortable. In case you didn't figure it out, your left hand forms a B for bread and your right hand forms a D for drink. So your water glass is always on your right and your bread plate to the left. To learn more about the etiquette dinner or to host a table next year, contact the Office of Career Engagement through fortlewis.edu.